Hey guys, Derek here from Nap Lab. Today, we're taking a look at the original Bed in a Box mattress. How to do in our tests? Let's go ahead and find out now. Let's start by taking a high level look at the Bed in a Box original mattress, who it's best for, what it feels like, and why you might want to buy it. The Bend Box mattress offers a modern memory foam feel with 3 inch top layer of memory foam and 8 inches of support foam below. It offers high contour and high hug, coupled with a faster than expected response time. It had fantastic cooling and good edge support while both lying and sitting. Motion transfer levels were low, which is to be expected from memory foam. It comes in at around a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, making this mattress a good choice for a wide range of sleepers. At this price point, the performance per dollar makes the Bed in a Box mattress one of the best value mattresses we've tested to date. The Bed in a Box mattress did well during our testing series, receiving an overall score of 9.62 out of 10. The best scores it received were perfect 10s in motion transfer and response time. In addition, it scored in the high 9s for cooling, pressure relief, off-gassing, and company. The Bed in a Box never leaves the 9s with a 9.3 in edge support and a 9.2 in sex, its lowest score. The Bed in a Box original is a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, where 10 is the most firm. This level of firmness would likely fit the needs of most sleepers. The Bed in a Box mattress is a great option for sleepers looking for a memory foam mattress with incredibly good cooling. Many memory foam mattresses retain more heat and sleep warmer. However, I found the heat dissipation and overall cooling performance to be excellent. In addition, the motion transfer was very low. Furthermore, the response time was quick, especially for a memory foam mattress. While a bed in a box is a great value, there are some things to keep in mind when considering if it's the right choice for you. It has low bounce, which negatively impacts sex. Additionally, it has just 3 inches of comfort material. For heavier weight sleepers, this could create some issues. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. Because of the mid-range firmness on this mattress, you will find the most sleepers will enjoy the feel of this mattress. But that's not all there is to consider. Although this mattress may work for most sleepers, the comfort layer plays a big part here too. The comfort layer of the bed box is only 3.0 inches thick. As mentioned earlier, a comfort layer of that thickness may not be suitable for heavier sleepers, especially if you're a side sleeper. Side sleeping in general creates more pressure points along your spine since all of the weight rests on a smaller surface area. This means you're likely to sink deeper into the foam. Side sleeping plus heavier body mass means you will engage more with the support foam, which may create pressure points and support issues for some sleepers. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At Nap Lab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to nine different factors that impact feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get out of the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. The cooling on this mattress was extraordinarily good. In our objective test, the Bed in a Box mattress achieved a maximum temperature of 87.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This is among the coolest mattresses we've tested to date. In fact, it's a full 2.5 degrees cooler than the average maximum temperature. Heat dissipation was nearly as good. Within one minute, the Bed in a Box mattress dropped 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit from the maximum temperature. It continued to drop in temperature from there, finishing at 83.3 degrees Fahrenheit after 5 minutes with no one lying on the mattress. Subjectively speaking, my experience on the mattress during the cooling test was great. I did not experience any notable heat retention, and the mattress seemed to breathe well. I will say, my experience on the mattress wasn't quite to the crazy level that our objective data indicates. Even so, it's clear to me that the Bed in a Box mattress is still among the coolest memory foam mattresses we've tested to date. For the sneakers chest, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 1.86 inches. This is a good bit lower than our average sinkage across all the mattresses we've tested to date, which is 2.21 inches. The slightly lower sinkage makes sense, given the 3.0 inch layer of memory foam. A 3.0 inch comfort layer is slightly thinner than many mattresses we've tested. As a result, there is going to be a more supportive pushback more quickly compared to others, which is likely resulting in the restrained 1.86 inches of sinkage. In any case, sinkage is more of a preferential factor. Some sleepers really enjoy deep sinkage, while others prefer less. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. 
as a memory foam mattress, the motion transfer on the bed in the box was extremely low. In our accelerometer test, we measured 2.85 meters per second squared of acceleration. This is among the lowest we've tested to date. On average, across all mattresses we've tested to date, acceleration is 5.83 meters per second squared. Any acceleration range that's less than 3.0 meters per second squared can be considered extremely low and capable of keeping motion transfer to a very restrained minimum. As you can see in the chart, the max range of motion transfer is still less than 3.0 meters per second squared, and by half a second, the motion has basically been completely eliminated by the materials. To test response time, we place a 12-pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. Response time on the bed box mattress was fast, but also about average. For the materials to mostly recover, it takes 0.5 seconds, and a full recovery takes 0.6 seconds. The average response time across all mattresses we've tested to date is 0.56 seconds. All that said, a response time of 0.5 seconds is still quite fast. In the last several years, memory foam mattresses have come a long way, especially with respect to response time. A faster response time helps ensure you never feel stuck or overly enveloped by the foams, making it easier to move around on during the night. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12-pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. The bed box mattress has a low level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 5.40 inches. Most of this bounce is on the downward compression, which we measured at 4.42 inches. From there, the rebound on the bounce was incredibly restrained. The medicine ball only made it 0.98 inches off the surface of the mattress. Low bounce on a memory foam mattress is pretty typical. Bounce is a preferential factor. Some sleepers want more, others less. With all that said, more bounce is always preferable for sex. At a total bounce height of 5.48 inches, the bed to box mattress is notably below average with respect to bounce. The average bounce height across all the mattresses we've tested to date is 9.36 inches. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. The edge support on this bed in a box overall was excellent. This is especially nice because oftentimes foam mattresses tend to struggle more with edge support compared to coil-based mattresses. In our sitting edge test, the bed in a box mattress compressed 4.5 inches under the legs. This is better than the average, which is 4.7 inches of compression. Edge support while lying directly on the edge of the mattress was equally as good. The mattress felt fully supportive even when lying directly on the edge. Our sex fitting formula looks at five different factors weighted based on their importance. We use the scores from other factors plugged into the formula to derive a sex score for each mattress. For the original bed in a box, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.2. As a memory foam mattress, the bounce was obviously the biggest disadvantage working against the sex score. The same factors that help deaden energy and limit motion transfer, a good thing for sleep, can make this mattress a little lacking for the dance without pants. But where it fell short in bounce, this mattress scored better in other categories. The edge support was a little better than expected, which can be a nice bonus for sex. In addition, the lack of noise, great pressure relief, and excellent cooling all come into play as well. The material components, quality, and comfort layer thicknesses are all critical factors to pressure relief. Other factors that further affect pressure relief are body weight, body type, and sleeping position. Pressure relief on the bed to box mattress was excellent. The memory foam top layer does a great job at contouring to your body and alleviating pressure. My only pressure relief concern is with heavier sleepers. While 3.0 inches of comfort foam is sufficient for many body types and sleep position, it isn't for everyone. If you are a heavier person, especially over 200 pounds, you may find you sink through the top three inches of foam and hit the support foam base. This has the potential to create pressure points, especially for side sleepers. While the bed box will be a good choice for many sleepers, for heavier sleepers, I would recommend a mattress with at least 4.0 inches of comfort foam. To evaluate off-gassing, we monitor the mattress following initial unboxing, taking a subjective measurement of any strong lingering smells. There was only a moderate level of smell upon the initial unboxing, and the smell that was present was able to fully dissipate within three days. Overall, it's a little above the average of 2.7 days across all the mattresses we've tested to date, especially for an all-foam mattress. Bed in a Box has been rolling and shipping mattresses since 2004, making them one of the earliest established online mattress brands to hit the market. As a company, the policies at Bed in a Box feel pretty consumer-friendly and competitive compared to others we've seen in the market. The extended 120-night trial period is pretty long, and it's nice that the trial is then paired with a 20-year warranty if you decide to keep the mattress. Shipping is free and returns are free. There's a lot to like about the terms and conditions of the bed in a box mattress.
I would recommend the Bed Box original mattress for sleepers who are looking for a memory foam mattress with great cooling and a fast response time. Despite being a memory foam mattress, it doesn't retain heat and responds quickly, reducing that stuck feeling. In addition, the Bed Box had great edge support while lying and sitting, and low levels of motion transfer. With a firmness level of 6 out of 10, with 10 being the most firm, this mattress is a great fit for a variety of sleepers. Overall, the price and performance make it one of the best value mattresses on the market. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Bendabox mattress, we got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.